we have a water column and two holes are put and the gap between the holes is delta H. We need to find the resultant force of reaction of water flow on the vessel. So we know the force is rate of change of momentum. So here we have two forces F1 and F2. So because of the water gaining the momentum towards left, the reaction force on the vessel will be towards right. Let's call that F1. And here the water is flowing towards right, so reaction force on the vessel will be towards left. Let's call that F2. So what we need to find is F net, that is F1 minus F2. F1 will be dp1, dp1 by dt and F2 will be dp2 by dt. Now what is rate of change of momentum for the liquid that is coming out? So let's write that general formula dp by dt when the liquid is coming out of an orifice. Let's say with the velocity v. So if water is coming out from a hole with the velocity v, the rate, the momentum change will be dmv and mass we can write as rho v. Now here v is constant, rho is constant, so only volume is left inside. So this becomes rho into velocity into dv by dt. Now we know volume flow rate is velocity into area. So this becomes rho v square s, which is a constant as expected because the water is coming out with the constant velocity, the reaction force must also be constant. And that it seems is proportional to v square. So this is the general term dp by dt for any liquid that is coming out with the velocity v from the area s. So F net is equal to F1 minus F2 is equal to dp1 by dt minus dp2 by dt. So dp1 by dt is equal to rho v1 square s and dp2 by dt will be rho v2 square s. So this becomes rho s into v1 square minus v2 square. Now we know velocity of efflux is uh, let's say rho g h1 for v1 and v2 will be rho g h2 root of that. So v1 square becomes 2gh1 minus 2gh2 and we know h1 minus h2 is delta h that is given to us. So this becomes rho 2 rho gs delta h which is our answer. Now this is one approach to calculate the reaction force. So we are only talking about this point, not here. So when the water is coming out with the velocity v through an area s, we have seen that the reaction force is rho v square s and we got that by doing dp by dt. The another way of doing is let's say in dt time. So impulse will be f dt and we know impulse is change of momentum that is dp. Now velocity of this liquid finally is v and initially it was zero. So dp I can write as dm into v. So ideally it should be dm into v minus zero that is change in momentum. So this becomes dm into v. And now you can see in dt time, how much mass has come out. Let's say dx amount has moved out. So the volume will, so volume left is area into dx and mass will be rho into area into dx. So dm is rho into area into dx into v. So now if we take dt here, this becomes f is equal to rho s, this v is inside, so another dx by dt, so dx by dt is also v, so this again becomes rho v square s. So same thing, just a different way of looking into how we get the reaction. So this is by impulse, and this we have seen by rate of change of momentum. All right.